Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. Today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade to Windows 11 to 5H2 using command prompt for any PC. No third party tools, no registry editors, and no PowerShell. Just clean CMD commands. Note this video is purely for educational or IT learning purposes. We are not changing or modifying any official restrictions. Just understanding how the Windows installer operates. One second, remember this video is for educational purpose only. Always follow Microsoft's official upgrade policies. So let's get started. Alright, before we start, here's what you will need. A Windows 11 25H2 ISO file. You can download that directly from the Microsoft's official website. about 20 GB of free space on your system drive and of course make sure back up your important files just in case something goes wrong once you have got the ISO file downloaded let's get into the crucial step in Windows from the file explorer just double click on the ISO file after that it will mount as the virtual DVD drive like in my case, as you can see, it is F. If it does not, right click on the ISO and choose mount. Once that's done, open the command prompt as an administrator. Here's the full command we will use. Type your virtual DVD drive letter colon backslash setup.exe space for slash auto upgrade space for slash product server space for slash compact space for slash migrate drivers space all space for slash dynamic update space disable. This kind of command is used in the labs or enterprise environments where admins wants to automate or customize the upgrade process. Now let me tell you how it actually works because every part is important. For slash auto upgrade tells setup to start upgrading automatically without extra clicks. For slash product server used when you are upgrading or installing Windows editions. For slash compact runs setup in a space optimized mode. It is very useful for system with limited storage. For slash migrate drivers all. This ensures all currently installed drivers are migrated to the newer version. And for slash dynamic update disable. This still setup not to check online for newer installer component or drivers during setup. Normally Windows setup connects to Microsoft server to download the latest setup files, drivers and compatibility data. This process is called dynamic update. In corporate or testing environments, IT admin might disable dynamic update so the installation only uses files already included in their deployment media. It's a legitimate option supported by Microsoft and documented in official setup automation guide. Now just hit enter and the upgrade process will begin. You will see the regular Windows setup UI pop up in the offline where the machine can range the internet in the lab environments for testing Windows installations. In automated deployment script where consistency matters more than downloading the latest drivers mid-install, it will go straight into installing Windows and your files and apps will stay in place.
once you are done and booted into Windows 11 25H2, everything should work just like before. And that's it, a clean, simple guide using just one command line. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question then please let us know. Please like, comment and share, we need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you, thanks for watching, have a nice day.